Hey guys, so I'm about to make some hot fried catfish sandwich, just one. And um, yeah, so let's get started. So this is a very plain fish sandwich. There's not much going on, but I'm going to make a little something, something to go on top of it. And here I have some sliced, I mean chopped up bread and butter pickles, some grated white onion, I mean yellow onion, and some lemon juice and mayo, salt and pepper. Now you want to watch your pepper because um, we're using a lot of hot sauce on this fish. So this is kind of like just, you know, tone it down a bit. You're going to add lemon juice, half of a lemon. I'm not making a lot of sauce. It's just one catfish sandwich. Then you want to add your salt. Mix this up and that's it. Alright, so this is the fish fry that I'll be using to fry my fish. Usually, typically, other people, they just roll it around in their fish. I either do an egg batter or something before I roll it around in that. But that's totally fine, too. To this plate, you're going to add hot sauce. I'm using the scotch bonnet. I told you this fish is going to be hot. If you're not into hot food, this recipe is not for you. However, you could omit one of the hot sauces. And then you're going to add your Louisiana hot sauce on top of that. And we're going to roll the fish right around in there. Alright guys, so then you're going to take your catfish or whatever fish you're using. My hands are going to get messy. I'm going to make sure I wash my hands before I even touch anything. But yeah, you want to get this hot sauce all over your fish. Just like this. Don't be afraid all over the fish. All right, so then you're gonna take your fish that's been smothered in all that heat, put it down into your fish fry. And you wanna coat it really, really well, all over. Directions, of course, is on the back of the package. You don't need me to show you this part, considering it's store-bought. <laughs> so you just wanna coat your fish really well, even in the cracks. You see how I lumped it up like this? So the thing could fall in, in between the cracks, just like that. And now we're gonna fry it. All right guys, so this is my fish right here frying up. I'm about to flip it over. It's been frying for about four minutes. All right, so my fish is here and ready to go. I'm just let it drain for a couple seconds on that paper towel. Right here, I have some toasted bread. You can't even really see it. See, it's regular bread. I'm not even doing nothing extra. So you can use whatever is in your house. And I put some spinach leaves on there. If you have lettuce, use lettuce. All right, so then you're going to take your fish, put it right on top of what I just showed you guys. Then you're going to take your tartar or your sauce, whatever you want to call it, lay it right over the top. You can smear it however you want. For presentation, I'm putting it right across the middle, and I'll smear it as I'm ready to eat it. But I'm putting it right across the middle just like that. Mm, mm, mm. Do y'all see this? Ah. Then I'm going to take some more hot sauce. <laughs> And sprinkle ding 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 ding. What's a fish sandwich without hot sauce? You need hot sauce. Period. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fire fish sandwich. I know the fish done took over the bread, but you guys get the point. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys next time on my next video. Bye guys.